Don't be Will Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day one of the high school basketball playoffs. First up, the girls kick things off Tuesday. And at Fruita Monument High School, the Denver East Angels were in town. Fruita down one here in the third. And Campbell Brammer drawing the charge and firing up the crowd. But the East Angels were hitting their shot in the second. Sally Dangler drains the triple to put Denver East up three. But Fruita senior Addie Air with the response as Fruita would trail by two after three. But boy, the Angels' size was tough to defend. Bucket and the foul on the putback for Harmony Banks. Now a great feed down low. Maya Reed Hardy lays it in as Denver East goes up five with just three minutes to go. Fruita now down seven. And Liv Campbell taking matters into her own hands with the floater. It's back down to a two-score game. But East kept hitting their free throws to keep distance. Now up nine with under a minute to go. And Campbell again with the three, trying to spark a late comeback, but a huge free throw on the other end. Grace Hall gets the Angels lead back to seven. And now the up ahead pass down the lane, and Dangler lays it in and one. Denver East up seven with under 30 seconds to go, and the East Angels made the key stops on defense, giving Fruta's offense fits all night long as they break the hearts of 19 win Fruta as the Wildcats season comes to a disappointing and abrupt end. 38 to 32 the final, but a heck of a year for Campbell Air and all of the Wildcats as it concludes with a record of 19 and four. And over in Palisade, another stellar season comes to an end as the Bulldogs fall to the 18th seed in the 5A tournament. The North Ridge Grizzlies, a much higher scoring game across the valley as a great Palisade team falls short 60 to 51 and ends their year at 17 and 7 in the final Grand Valley team of the state tournament on the girls side. The Central Warriors fall to Mountain View 69 to 45 on the front range. Truly a wild season for the Warriors that saw them start two and eight, then win eight in a row to get themselves in a playoff position. But boy, down in Montrose, it was a different story for the Red Hawks. Utter domination for the seven seed. 54 to 17 throttling the Pueblo County Hornets to move on in the 5A playoffs. And boy, if you thought that was dominant, take a look at what the Delta Panthers did to Middle Park, taking beat down to a whole new level with a 72-16 shellacking of the other Panthers. So make that 19 wins in a row for Delta. Hard to believe after, a, after an 0-4 start, Watch out for these Delta Panthers in the 4A state playoffs. What a great night of girls playoff action. But Wednesday is day one for the boys state tournament and the Fruital Wildcats. They just completed an undefeated regular season. But with the playoff set, they don't care about that record. The Fruital Wildcats have done it. They are the first team from the Grand Valley to finish a regular season undefeated in 34 years. But now the real season begins. Certainly a special accomplishment and, and something that we're obviously proud of, but you know, right that, right now it's the furthest thing from our mind. Everybody's zero and zero. We got a really tough Highlands Ranch team coming in. You know, and I think you look at that, you know, 23 and 0 season, we'll, we'll save some of that for the banquet and for the 10 year reunion and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, right now it means absolutely nothing if we don't take care of business on Wednesday and that's really where we're trying to focus. It's a good feeling. I mean, none of it matters. This is the most important time is this playoffs and we just got to keep working, which is what we're doing right now. We just got to keep working to make it to the as far as we can. And it all begins this Wednesday at Fruita's Gym where the last team in the playoffs, Highlands Ranch, will be in town. But don't be fooled by that record. This Falcons team plays a lot like the Wildcats. Their record's misleading. I mean, they're in the toughest, toughest conference in the entire state. There's no question they'll be battle tested. Um, you know, they've played all the best teams in the state. I can, I can assure you they're certainly not scared of us. We were watching film on Highlands Ranch and they look quick and they play like us. I think it's just gonna be a battle on who can play quicker. They've got nine players averaging over six points a game. And so they're, they're really deep, they're really physical, really athletic. and. You know, they're going to be a tough matchup for us. It's not your typical 32 seed, and, and you know, we've got to be sharp and be ready. Van Fruta's biggest and arguably most versatile player, Daniel Thomason. Yeah, he's confident that he and his guys will be ready. Yeah, they got a lot of even talent. You know, there's a lot of dudes on their team that can score and do a lot of things, you know. Um, but we watched, we're, we've been watching film on them. We've been doing scouts. So I think that come Wednesday, we're going to be ready. 
But what makes this situation in playoffs so interesting for Fruta is that they haven't played most of the teams in 6A, all of which are on the front range. So as odd as it may sound, these undefeated top-seeded Wildcats have found a way to have a chip on their shoulder. I think they think we have a soft schedule and we're not very good being from the Western Slope, so I hope they have that mentality. None of the teams down there think we should be the number one seed. None of them think we should be 23-0, and that just makes me want to work extra hard and like just push through and want to beat them even more than what we already want to beat them by. And we just have been putting in extra work this week and last week because we know that preparation for this moment is the biggest part. Boy, what a massive upcoming postseason it is for the Fruit of Wildcats. Playoff basketball is here, and it feels so good. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.